So recently I had to build a software that takes data from my YouTube videos and shows me some interesting data about those videos. The YouTube analytics software is awesome. It's one of the best softwares available you know, to anyone. The only challenge, however, is that it doesn't give you some data that you would have really wanted. Uh, let me show you, for example, what I mean. Let's say you want to know how many people shared this video to people. There's no way you can know that because the YouTube analytics software doesn't really give you that kind of data here. Let's say you wanted to know how many people unsubscribe that is while watching this video they just decided to not subscribe again you can't know that kind of data whereas with my software you can actually know those kinds of data so with my software now you can know the number of people who lost subscription through this video you can know how many minutes case you want to know how many minutes people really watch you want to know how many people shared there's really no way to know that kind of data in the youtube analytics so that's what this project really was about uh, and this project was built entirely with ChatGPT. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build this project using ChatGPT. But there's a cat. There, the video is going to be in like multiple parts. The first part is showing you how I set up the API that made this possible. So in this video, we're going to look at two sets of API. The first API is the YouTube Data V3 API, which gives you things like thumbnail, like publicly available data that you can pick from any video things like title, the thumbnail, the dates it was posted, and the number of views, right? But this one, for instance, this dependent analytics will require the YouTube Analytics API. So I'm going to show you in this first part of the video how to set up that YouTube Analytics, the YouTube Data V3 API, and then the YouTube Analytics API. Uh, in the next video, then we're going to go into how I actually built this software using ChatGPT. So till then, I want you to enjoy this video. It's basically about how to set up an API. So if you don't know how to set up an API with Google, then this is the best video for you. You can pick that lesson and then use it for any other thing, whether it's maps, whether it's JavaScript or whatever it is you want to, whatever Google API you want to use. This is basically a walk into how to create APIs generally for Google project. All right, so let's get into the video. First thing you do is type Google developer console. Press enter. You click on that site the first one it brings currently i have some projects running by the way the google developer console is mostly free so there's very little thing you're going to need money for in this place but there's a quota so if you pass that quota then you have to pay so the first thing you're going to do is create a project i'll call this test what's the organization you can just leave that out if your organization is not known so create so now we have a project being created and then we come to this place and select the project so now we are in the project project called test we are specifically interested in uh api so you go under api and then you go to enabled apis so over here you are going to create an api so you select enable apis and services all right so first you say youtube data api youtube data v3 this one you click on it so this is the api so you select the api and then you say enable to be able to find your api you are going to have to look under credentials so you select credentials for now just say create credentials and then say api key so now we're creating the api all right so this is the api anytime you want to view data from your youtube account you can use this api key to you know view the data all right so that's the number one so we'll go back and do the second one the other one that needs a deeper level of authentication to be able to do so that one is youtube analytics api so select that now the youtube analytics api uh these two are usually required to be able to get the specific data you're looking for from google but in this case we're only going to be concerning ourselves with the youtube analytics api the youtube reporting api gives you bulk data report but this one just kind of like retrieves youtube analytics data for your project so click here and then you say enable so the youtube analytics api is a lot more complex than your regular api if you go under credentials for instance this is where you're going to need a little more than the normal to be able to do so first you need to create a content screen so you create get started so in this place you're going to need to set up the app name so let's say the app name is youtube 
data and then you're going to put a supporting email in this case i'll put my email in your case you put your own email so you click next um in this place you'll select external because you're not an organization and for organizations you have to do app verification instantly but in this case since it's a test application we're only going to work with the external so you click external say next you confirm the email address again so that same email address click next you say agree to this so you continue and then you create so now that we have created the content screen now we're going to create an oauth client so we'll click click that under application type you select a web application the name of the web application we can just say youtube analytics web or something whatever you can call it anything you want it doesn't matter now this place here is very very critical because we're going to need a software called oauth playground and it's always a great idea to use the oauth playground as a uri with the oauth playground you can actually query everything you want to query from just the playground here so in this section over here we're going to add the oauth playground well how do you get the url where well, you select here you select use your own oauth credentials we'll get to this place in a minute so you select here and then you you know copy just that section there right click copy and then come over here and then paste that into that place so it knows to use auth playground as a redirect so you select create now so that will then generate for you what we call the client id the client secret so you press ok now if you go back under your api now so this is the youtube analytics web if you select this place you can always go back to see your client id and your client secret so you're going to need the client ID and the client secret when you are authenticating with Google Auth. So the, you, the client ID is what you're going to put here and then the client secret is what you're going to put here. So when you click close, then you do some things. So let's quickly uh, practicalize that. So if I refresh the Google Auth right now, right, uh, then I would come to this place and first and foremost i'm going to come here and then say use my own oauth credentials so the oauth credentials is that which you have created for this particular project which is the new project you copy all of the things that are here right copy all the things that are here in the client id then you paste and then you copy all the things that are here in the client secret you paste it here right and then you select close so I haven't done that, you then come to this place and then define some scopes. There are two scopes that are mostly important, the YouTube reader only scope and then the other one is the YouTube analytics, YT analytics read only. So those two scopes are very, very important. So you can then say authorize API. Now when you click authorize API, it's going to ask you for your email address. You select the email address and then it's going to ask you for this. There's a reason why it has blocked your data like this, right? The reason it has blocked it is because this particular person, this particular individual has not been authorized as a tester on the project. So that's why it's restricting you from getting access to that. So you need to authorize him as a user. So to be able to make sure that it doesn't block you here right you need to add this email address as a tester for the app so to do that you come here and then add a user as a tester so in this place I'm gonna put that email address as a tester and then I click Save good so now it knows not to bounce him so if you go back now and then select him so it will tell you stuff like Google hasn't verified this app and then you just say click continue so you see that it's no longer bouncing it. So you select these two. So you want the YouTube account and then the YouTube analytics. The YouTube account is for the data v3. And then the YouTube analytics report is for the other API that needs Google or So you select continue. All right. So now it knows to use those credentials to be able to use Google or So if I now come to this place and say exchange access token. So you now have an access token you now have an access token to be able to work with your software. So uh, this access token, you can copy this. And then by the time we get to the second part, you see why this is very important in a minute. The access token is what you're going to put to your server. And then this is what you're pasting in this section over here. That's the access token. 
and then you're going to need the same access token for another part of your project here this particular one so this access token is what you are going to use to be able to connect to these kinds of data that you want so without that access token you're not going to see this see things like subscribers loss subscribers gain watch time minutes card impression those are the things that youtube analytics gives you right without the access token you can't get that right can't work so that's pretty much how you create a google developer console api uh, for your project uh, in the next video i'm going to show you basically how we set this up but i had to first do this ahead of time so that you can know how to create those apis for your own project uh, i hope this has helped you if it has i want you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on the notification bell and i will see you in the next video bye take care